today is Sunday. Pardon the appearance. Um, I'm so tired. I also was like super congested. So felt kind of crappy um, the last few days, which sucks because I had so much work to catch up on that I haven't been able to film anything for this vlog. Last week was so busy with work that I had to plan for shoots, do pulls, product selects. Finally have a rest slash lazy day. There's like no emails. Marco went out to go play basketball. We have like a tropical storm watch. It used to be a hurricane watch, but now it's just like, I think heavy rain for the next 24 to 48 hours. So it's a bit gloomy in the house. So apologies if the, um, the lighting is kind of dark and grim for this video, but it is 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, Marco and I woke up around eight, had breakfast. I already started to clean up a bit, but still a few things to put away in the house. So that is the premise of this vlog. And I also do have an unboxing to show with you guys. If you don't follow me on TikTok, then you don't know what it is yet. If you do follow me on TikTok, then you do know what it is, or if you check my Instagram stories. But yeah, we have a little unboxing something that I got from Marie Deluxe. So I guess I could do my Sunday cleaning slash haul because I have to put that stuff away anyways. So yeah, um, there's a couple of video projects coming up that also include new fall pieces. So you will be seeing a couple of little fall hauls coming up for the rest of this month. I guess I should clean a little bit more, so BRB. lost track of time and I was on the sofa for like an hour editing a bunch of photos that I shot over the past week. Some other photos that I never got around to editing or posting. So yeah, that happened. And now I'm sleepy because I get like that after I stir up my phone for so long. Um, let's do a little equipment haul. Okay, my battery is about to die, so I'm trying to make this fast. I just have two things to show you guys. So this first one is an iPhone tripod because mine broke. So I grabbed a new one. I will link this down below, it's from Amazon. Also comes with a little remote control. I like that it's nice and sturdy. The other one I had was kind of weak and would just like topple over. So I like that this one is sturdier. It can also adjust to like different heights. So that's good. Yeah, just another iPhone tripod that I can easily take on the go. Although when I'm in Soho, I usually just try and find a ledge if I need to shoot. So comes with a little iPhone attachment. This is the remote. And then the next thing that I have, I actually saw from Christine's vlog. So shout out to Christine for inspiring this purchase. This is the Loom Cube. I guess like it's a creator kit. It has um, the loom cube over here, which is good for lighting. Hold on. There we go. So you can see that the light is there. The phone goes right here. And then there's a mic and it comes with cables that can attach to the phone. But you do need a dongle um, if you have the newer phones that don't have the headphone jack. So this is what I got from Amazon. I told myself I wouldn't do this, but now I'm in like this editing mode. So I'm gonna continue to edit some photos and circle back later.
So I reviewed the footage, I was just like editing, and I guess I shouldn't call this like a lazy Sunday vlog because I've been getting work done. Um, but it's been really chill and slow and it's also the weather because of the rain. I guess it should just be called like a chill Sunday vlog, but I wanted to do my little haul for you guys. I wanted to show you guys some Aritzia pieces, but I realized some stuff is still on the way, so I'm gonna hold off until I have all of that. But I did want to show you guys what came in from Ritty Lux. I will have a dedicated video on this um, in the next few weeks, but because I've already used it and shot it, figured I would just let you guys know what it is already. Obviously, it's already been opened. Uh, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, then you saw the reels and know what it is already. I was just so impressed by the packaging. You guys know that I've sold through Redelux before and we teamed up to do a giveaway, but this is actually the first bag that I'm getting from them. So I was super impressed with all of that packaging and uh, just wanted to show you guys. Obviously this isn't what it looked like because I've already opened it up, but this tag came with the bag and I thought these little details were just so pretty and I love that kind of attention to detail. And these are really good quality um, papers. And then there's this little note. I think we had this in the wallet that we did a giveaway for. And just a cute little touch. It's like personalized with a note. And then we've got a certificate of authenticity. They also have like their own tissue paper and stickers and it's it's just done so well. I don't know if you can tell the print on the tissue paper, but it's very faint. Uh, I don't know if that shows. They have like their sticker and the bag was just packaged and wrapped so well, like, like the way Chanel would do it, maybe even better. The bag is already out. This was the dust bag and it was stuffed also to just like maintain the shape. But again, if you saw those reels or TikTok, then you know that it is a black Chanel 19 in leather. And it is, oh, it's so cute. I love it. I mean, you guys know that I love the 19s. I have my Oreo tweed, but for some reason this looks smaller than my Oreo tweed, right? Is it just me? It might just be because it's black. I don't know, but I mean, I love it. You guys know I love the tweed 19s but of course if i'm looking for something every day and easy then it would be this one i think i should do a comparison video between this and a classic flap because price point wise this is less and i think if you're looking for something more casual and every day this is a great alternate to a classic flap especially the mixed hardware i'll definitely go into more depth about this bag in a later video but just wanted to show you guys the new addition to the collection i'm trying to think if there's anything else like worth showing you guys right now. Oh, I've been asked about this a few times and I guess I never properly showed it, but it is my Hermes belt and this is the Gamma buckle. It's in a size 24 and it is reversible. And I just really love this one because I feel like it's very chic and simple and it's not as bold is the usual H belt that you see. And I love that I can wear it with my more neutral outfits. I wore this with my um, green dress that I wore to a wedding to cinch the waist. I just love it so much. And I've like sold all of my Gucci belts. I'm trying to avoid any more, I guess, common designer belts, but I just really love that this is reversible because it just easily goes from like one outfit to the other. I've worn it so many different ways, but yeah, people wanted me to talk about this belt and I just, I love it. So I saw this in rose gold at my boutique and I had to order it through my essay for the gold. It came really fast. Um, I am this, I'm wearing a size 85 in this, although I could go down to an 80, but I do like the option to have it a little bit wider if I'm wearing it lower and then it still fits if I wanted to wear it at the small of my waist. So yeah, that is the Gamma Belt. I thought I'd throw that in there because I don't really think there's much going on in this vlog, especially compared to last week where I vlogged for like an entire week. I might head into the city at the end of the week, but over the next few days, I'm definitely gonna be home. Good news is that my parents are supposed to come back end of this week and 
it'll be my first time seeing them since January of last year. So I'm really excited for that. And yeah, I've just been trying to coordinate with family like what to do. So I had the Amazon stuff, which was just like camera equipment. And then this bag and then the clothing stuff will have to be in separate videos. But I'm going to go back downstairs, edit a little bit more. Um, just planning some photos. I needed to submit content for a project that I shot last week tomorrow consists of videos and reels and stuff so I just need to make sure that everything's ready to go for the upload um gonna go I'll see you guys later What's up you guys? I finished my ride, showered, did a mask. Um, now I need to plan out the week, which is what I normally do on Sundays, just to get all of my due dates and to-dos on the calendar. I am going to wrap up the vlog here because there are about maybe three to four videos I need to film within the next few days. So it's gonna be pretty busy. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog of my Sunday here at home and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!